Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today I will be showing you a painting process for this snowy landscape. And this one was on my to-do list for quite a while, but I wasn't really sure how to approach it. And today I decided just to do it. So without the further ado, let's get started. I will just do a very simple sketch. Actually, I'm gonna do two lines. This one is going to be a horizontal line and this one is for actually the horizon line and it's a little bit underneath the center of my paper and then one uh, angled one for the lake. This is just a guideline. I don't really think I should be calling it a sketch. Just, just a simple guidelines. I have privetted the entire paper, mixed in a little bit of the darker blue, something like ultramarine and a darker brown, again, something like sepia. And I'm painting in the sky, the part where my snow is going to be and also the part where the lake is going to be. So you can see my brush strokes are differently angled depending on what I'm painting. And for the sky, I do want to have the impression of some clouds there. So I'm not painting one even wash. Also, the lines for the snow are just following my guidelines. So nearer to the angled one, those brush strokes are angled, nearer to the horizon line, they're a little bit more horizontal. And I have picked up a little bit of the paint with just a clean towel to create the impression of some sort of the clouds or maybe some snow or maybe some ice on the lake. I have left everything to dry fully and when it was dried I started with painting this time wet on dry so I did not prevent my paper. I'm just painting it very very light wash of distant mountains and just make sure that you feather out the part that is in a mist in a fog so not the entire mountain is visible the first one. This one is slightly different color. I have used a little bit more of the brown in this mix. And for the first two, I've used a little bit more of the blue. Same colors, just blue and dark brown. Now I have added a couple of lines with the gray brown color to create the impression of some trees there and also just a clean water topped on top of my mountain just to add again some impression of some trees. The upper part is feathered, you can see that. That's because we do want those that part to be feathered to make it look again like there are some distant trees. For the lake, I have glued the masking tape just to make it easier for myself to the straight line. If that's not necessary for you, you don't have to glue it. You can just do without. And I have painted some reflection of the trees. Again, I have wetted that part of the paper, so I was painting wet on wet. And then just with the vertical brush strokes, I have painted reflection of my trees, added some splatters with clean water just to add a little bit more of the texture. Again, glued the masking tape for the horizon line, wetting the upper part of the paper where the sky is. Just make sure you don't fuss too much with your brush there because we have mountains and we don't want to pick up the paint there and also just make one blotch of, of water of paint there. Just make sure you don't go over with the clean water with your brush, that you don't go on the edges of the mountains, everything else you can do, but just avoid the edges of the mountains. So on the wet paper, this time painting wet on wet, I'm adding some trees and you can see that the right side is loose and I have not really tried to paint any trees there. And on the left side, the one that's going to be near to us, uh, I guess where the trees are going to be uh, higher, I am painting uh, the impression again of the trees, not painting every single branch, every single uh, part of the tree, just doing it in a quite loose style. While the paint was still wet there, I have just used the clean water and a towel to pick up a little bit of the paint and to create some rays. 
and although my rays aren't equally spaced and are not the same some are thicker some thinner just to add it a little bit more of the realistic look make it a little bit more natural And I'm painting trees just around those rays using different uh, tones of my color. So I'm adding a little bit more of the blue in my mix than a little bit more of the brown. And just to create different tones of the colors. You can see quite loose trees also there. paint was still somewhat wet in the part where the lake is so I've picked up a little bit of the paint with my brush to create the impression of the trees it was just looking like one blotch and I wanted to make it a little bit more tree looking like added some splatters with just the clean water and left it to dry fully and now that it dried you can see a very nice effect that it got from those splatters with water and right now again painting dry uh, painting wet on dry so I haven't prevented my paper and with this brush with a very very nice and pointy tip I'm painting in the trees again not trying to paint every single branch every single detail just the impression of the trees so I'm going to do it all the way on the top and just around my rays I will be using a little bit of the lighter color this time a lighter brown just to give it a little bit more of the shine you know just around those rays I do want my color to slightly shine and guys I did wanted to thank you all I have uh, if you're new here I have uh, started my patreon just I don't know a couple of weeks weeks ago and I wanted to thank to all of you who joined my patreon thank you so much for your all your support I really really do appreciate that there are I guess a lot of tutorials real-time tutorials there if you would like a little bit more of the real-time videos and just paint with me videos you can find it on my patreon you can see it on the screen there is a my patreon is Marina Art and there is a link in the description box if you want to check it out so uh, right now again I have left the part where my leg is to fully try and now with this again I don't know brush with a very nice pointy tip I'm painting in some details just underneath the lake adding some shadows and maybe some uh, dirt peeking through And I did wanted to make the shadows a little bit darker because they were just too light compared to my trees so just uh, with the dry brushing technique I was just adding some trees in the reflection and also a little bit more of the details on the snow again some shadows maybe some footsteps or just texture to my snow again this part is now dry I haven't wetted it so I'm painting it on dry a bit more of the details to the water and all the time I'm using same mix of colors talking about the colors well I do want to remind you guys that I do have a sale in my shop and it's gonna be open for a very very short time still so if you want to get something for yourself maybe some handmade palette or some handmade watercolors eco-friendly well there is also a link in the description box you can go ahead and check that out I have just used a little bit of the blue mixed in the, that darker brown but this time very watered down to do some splatters again for the texture and with this tempera uh, this is gouache white gouache I will be painting adding some details with white for the maybe some ice or snow on top of my lake also on the edges of the lake 
just to create that frosty feel. You can see how it immediately started to look like water and a reflection. Just adding those details with white. And also I will be adding white details just underneath my trees to make it look like some snow is peeking through in between those leaves and even though I'm using white that white will when it dries be a little bit less white and a little bit more mixed in with my browns so if you, that looks too white for you you can just add a tiny bit of brown to your white gouache to make it a little bit less white and some details again with blue some wash adding final details here and there and with that we'll be finishing off this painting you can of course add some snow maybe some white splatters with white gouache to add snow snowflakes but i'm not gonna do that i was happy with how this looked if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you should definitely do that i'm planning a lot more new tutorials in the future so i'm sure you will find something for yourself and if you'd like more real-time tutorials check the link in the description box for my patreon page again thank you so much guys for watching this video for joining me for painting with me and i do hope i will see you also next time bye